The science curriculum aims to train all students to be scientifically literate citizens and to prepare and inspire those who will be the next generation of scientists and professionals in technical fields. This video will give you an overview of your four years of scientific study in the West Morris Regional High School District and help you plan your science course selections for the 2015-16 school year. I'd like to start with an overview of all science courses offered here at the district. This science flowchart found in the program of studies and also can be accessed online at the West Morris Regional High School District homepage is an excellent visual of all the science course options one can take over their four years of high school. The first two columns list the core science courses of biology, chemistry, and physics taken in grades 9 through 11. The third column at the right shows the 18 science electives usually taken in one's junior and senior's years. When deciding on the science course and level, it's important to be mindful of the following considerations. Your science teacher's recommendation from your current school year is highly important because he or she has been working closely with you in your science course and knows both the science curriculum and level expectations. Math course level and skills are also highly correlated to success in science, particularly in the physical sciences of chemistry and physics. There's a minimum of 15 credit science graduation requirement at both the state and district levels. This transfers to taking three years of a lab science. I'd like to also point out a letter I received from Rutgers stating the expectation of students having a core science background during high school that includes a study of biology, chemistry, and physics. Therefore, most students take these three courses, with many students doubling up junior and senior year to take four, five, or more science courses. We offer many IB and AP science elective courses for an in-depth study of a science content area at the college level. It's highly recommended for a student to have this experience in high school. College Board states research showing success in an AP course in high school highly correlates to success in college. So if you are a ninth grader entering the district, you will sign up for biology. Use the considerations I spoke of previously to help you select the appropriate level of the four offered, which are honors, advanced, academic, and studies. You want to choose a level that provides balanced rigor and challenge where you are reaching your academic potential. Realize that you're not tracked into a specific level throughout high school. The goal is always to improve and move forward as a result of hard work, persistence, and grit. In scientific conceptual knowledge, scientific and engineering practices, and in lifelong skills and approaches to learning. The district science teachers are both highly knowledgeable and dedicated to supporting your growth in these areas. Moving down to 10th grade, if you completed biology studies in the 9th grade with a recommendation to continue at the studies level, you will select physical science studies, which includes the study of both chemistry and physics. All other 10th graders who took biology at the other levels will sign up for chemistry at the appropriate level. If you've completed both Honors Biology and Honors Algebra II as a freshman with a high level of success, meaning a final year average of an A in both of these courses, you may be recommended to take AP Chemistry as a sophomore. Moving down to the third row for 11th grade, if you completed Physical Science as a, a sophomore, you can take Integrated Earth Systems as your third science course. Other 11th graders coming from chemistry may take physics at the appropriate level. Students who took honors or AP chemistry as sophomores should sign up for AP IB Physics 1 and will be prepared to take the AP Physics 1 exam at the end of the year in May. As I mentioned, we have 18 science elective and most are full year science courses. Many are IB and AP courses in biology, chemistry, and physics, providing further study at an in-depth college level with exams offered in May. Please refer to the program of studies for pre- and co-requisites needed to be eligible and well prepared for taking any elective course. I'd like to point out a relatively new course offered here in the district, Applied Physics 1 which was piloted at Central this current school year and will be offered at both Central and Mendham for the 2015-16 school year.
If you answer yes to the two questions you see on the screen, that you're a hands-on learner and proper solvent with an interest in engineering, I highly recommend you sign up for this course as your first year physics course either at the advanced or honors level. It's important to note the yellow box is showing that students who sign up to take Applied Physics 1 must also sign up and take the Engineering Design course from the Technology Curriculum. You'll learn all the same core physics concepts covered in the traditional physics first year course as they apply to help problem solve the design projects done in the Engineering Design course. We offer two science elective semester courses. The first is DNA course at the advanced level. It's an integrated science course that is highly hands-on and activity-based covering the concepts of DNA structure and function, DNA technology, and genetic engineering. Our second semester course is forensic, also an integrated science course that applies to science to the law. The advanced level has a chemical and molecular perspective with an emphasis on case studies. The advanced level requires the prerequisites of biology, chemistry, and physics at the honors or advanced levels. The academic level is activity and project-based with a focus on techniques to solve crimes. Biology is a prerequisite. Many students who take the DNA course will take the forensic course the alternating semester for a full year of an integrated science study. I hope that you have found this video informational to guide you in your science course selection and to provide a gestalt overview of your four-year scientific study. I wish you all tremendous success for your 2015-16 school year.